congressional Black Caucus members met with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris Thursday afternoon to renew a stalled police reform effort, days after video showed Memphis police officers brutally beating Tyre Nichols, a 29-year-old black man, who later died. The Black Caucus pushed Biden to speak on reviving police reform legislation during the State of the Union February 7 and share information on results from past executive orders on police reform. The death of Tyre Nichols is yet another example of why we need action, said Rep. Stephen Horsford, Democrat Nevada. A small group of CBC members joined Horsford at the White House, including, Rep. Joe Negus, Democrat Colorado, Rep. Jim Clyburn, D.S. C., Rep. Sheila Jackson Lee, Democrat Texas, Sen. Cory Booker, D.N. J., and Sen. Raphael Warnock, Democrat Georgia Police Reform, Tyre Nichols case reignites conversations among lawmakers on He did say that all options are being explored. We are working with the President, his team, the Senate, and the House," Horsford said after the meeting. This is going to require all of us, including Republicans, to get across the finish line. We recognize that, but we are committed to meaningful, substantive reforms and a focus on public safety for all communities. Warnock said that more work will be done in the days ahead. You will hear from the president, you will certainly hear from all of us in the days ahead about the work we have. We're looking for meaningful solutions that provide a foundation for lasting change, he said. This issue is about rooting out bad policing and bad policing practices, Horsford said. And that does require legislation, including executive actions and measures that Congress can take up in a bipartisan way. The group wants Biden to call for bipartisan police reforms next week. We are actively engaged in making sure we pull all of the relevant stakeholders together, said Rep. A. But he also wants Biden to push for bipartisan support. More, politicians, activists decry Tyre Nichols' fatal traffic stop after videos release we need him to use that moment during the State of the Union, like he will talk about housing and jobs and investments in protecting Medicare and Social Security, to talk about the importance of keeping our common, 